Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. Paul told Timothy in 2 Timothy 4 7, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. The man was in prison when he wrote this with privations ahead and martyrdom in sight. The word course mostly means to us a series of experiences that make up a life, but in the Greek it means something far stronger. The way Paul viewed his life might better be described as the focused, determined effort of a racer set to persevere at any cost. That is how life is to anyone who does anything in the world worth doing, whether that life is Christian or not. Winners must look on life as not merely a place of enjoyment, selfish pleasures, making money, starting and raising a family, satisfying love, or following any other of the world's blandishments. To accomplish worthwhile achievements, one must view life as being an appointed field for a succession of efforts, all in one direction and leading progressively to an end. The word Paul used, and which is translated to us as course, regards life as a track or path marked out and within which we are to keep. Paul thought of his life as a race course traced for him by God, and from which it would be perilous and rebellious to diverge. The consciousness of definite duties seemed larger than anything else to him. His first waking thought was, What is God's will for me today? What stage of the course have I to pass over today? Each moment brought to him an appointed task, which at whatever expense he must do. And this uplifting yet humbling ever-present sense of responsibility, not merely to circumstances but to God, is an indispensable part of any life worth a living and of any on which a soul will ever dare to look back. Making the best of one's life opportunities is hard work, A long-distance runner maintains a steady exercise regimen, carefully monitors his diet, meters his time so the cares of life, the other interests and duties do not steal from him the critical training moments that can make the difference between success and failure. Now, God's call to us is not unreasonable. He knows we need time for family and friends, occasionally to come apart for a time to recoup spiritual and emotional resources to recharge our batteries. But he wants us to never lose sight of the long-distance goal to keep the lofty mountain peaks that raise their shining heights along the distant horizon always in our hearts so that we let nothing keep us from being able to say when our time here draws nearer to its conclusion, I've finished my course. Maybe someone will come to heaven's gate with the testimony that there were some big boulders to clamber over. Occasionally, for some, the course goes through the mud puddles, and the clay sticks to their shoes. They become disgusting, wet, and heavy. Sometimes the course goes through dark valleys in the shadow where the savage cliffs on either side seem to lean down over the pathway and block out the sun, where all is gloomy and haunted voices call to us that this is the spot where Satan will spill your soul. As Paul sat under house arrest in Rome with a soldier who was his guard in sight and looked back over his life, There could only have been one thing that would justify all the hardships and exposure he had borne. He considered himself as a man running a race to gain a heavenly prize, and that, that alone, made all the fasting and beatings and rejections, the court appearances and shipwrecks and snake bites worth it. For the rest of this verse in 1 Timothy reads, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, Not to me only, but unto them also that love his appearing. You think Paul regrets his life today? You think you or I will if we run with patience the race that is set before us? We're not all called to Paul's racetrack. We each have our own, but if we are faithful, we'll have our part in that phrase, all them that love his appearing. Have you talked to God today? You have been listening to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at G-O-D-S-F-I-V-E minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Mm-hmm.